Sada king is a term used to refer to an illegal form of gambling or betting that originated in India. It involves wagering on the opening and closing numbers of various products, such as cotton, in the New York Cotton Exchange. Over time, this form of gambling evolved into a game where participants bet on the numbers between 0 and 99. The betting is typically done through local bookies or online platforms. The word, sada, means betting or gambling in Hindi, while, king, signifies a person who is considered the ruler or leader. Sada king, therefore, refers to the person who holds the title of being the top better or the one who wins the most in this gambling game. It's important to note that Sada King is illegal in India and is considered a form of gambling. The practice has been associated with various social issues and has been a matter of concern for authorities due to its negative impact on individuals and society. Participating in Sada King or any form of illegal gambling can lead to legal consequences and financial loss. It is always advised to engage in legal and responsible activities. Sada King operates through a network of bookies or betting agents who take bets from participants and manage the overall process. Here's a general overview of how it operates. Selection of Numbers Participants choose a set of numbers between 0 and 99 on which they want to place their bets. These numbers can be based on personal preference, superstition, or speculation. Placing bets. Participants then approach a bookie or betting agent and inform them about the selected numbers and the amount they wish to bet. The bookie records the bets and collects the money from the participants. Result declaration. Once the betting is closed, a random number is drawn by a designated person. The result can be based on various sources, such as the closing numbers of the stock exchange or other predetermined methods. The winning number is usually determined by considering the last digit of a specific financial index. Payouts. Based on the result, the bookie calculates the winnings for each participant. The payout ratio varies and is predetermined. For example, if someone has bet on a specific number and it matches the result, the participant receives a payout at a specified rate, such as 90 times the original bet. Settlement. The bookie collects the winnings from losing participants and distributes the winnings to the winners after deducting their commission or share. It's important to note that the entire process of Sada King is illegal in many countries, including India. The operation of Sada King involves various risks, including legal consequences and financial loss. It is strongly advised to avoid participating in such illegal gambling activities and instead engage in legal and responsible forms of entertainment. There are several reasons why some people may be drawn to Sada King despite its illegal nature and associated risks. Here are a few possible factors. Easy money. Sada King offers the allure of quick and easy money. Participants believe that by placing bets on specific numbers, they have a chance to win a significant amount of money with minimal effort. The potential for high payouts can be enticing for individuals looking for financial gains. Excitement and thrill. Gambling activities often provide a sense of excitement and thrill. The anticipation of the result and the possibility of winning can be exhilarating for some individuals. The uncertain nature of the game adds an element of suspense, making it appealing to those seeking a rush of adrenaline. Social interaction. Sada King may also serve as a form of social interaction for some people. Participating in the game allows individuals to engage with others who share similar interests. It can create a sense of community and camaraderie among participants. Tradition and cultural influence. In some cases, 
the involvement in Sada King may be influenced by cultural or traditional factors. It has been reported that in certain communities, the practice of gambling, including Sada King, has been prevalent for generations. People may continue to participate in the game due to its historical significance or as a way to uphold traditions. Lack of alternatives. In certain regions or communities where economic opportunities are limited, some individuals may view Sada King as a way to earn money or improve their financial situation. They might perceive it as a viable option when other legitimate avenues for earning income are scarce. It is essential to recognize that despite these perceived attractions, Sada King is illegal and can have severe consequences. It is always advisable to refrain from engaging in illegal gambling activities and instead explore legal and responsible means of entertainment and financial growth. There are several reasons why many people strongly dislike or even hate Sada King and similar forms of illegal gambling. Illegal and unregulated. Sada King operates outside the bounds of the law, making it an illegal activity in many countries. This illegal status raises concerns about the lack of regulation, oversight, and consumer protection. Without proper regulations, participants are at a higher risk of fraud, unfair practices, and manipulation. Financial loss. Gambling, including Sada King, is inherently risky, and the odds are typically stacked against the participants. Many individuals end up losing significant amounts of money, leading to financial hardship and personal distress. This aspect can breed resentment and a sense of betrayal among those who have suffered financial losses or witnessed its impact on others. Social Issues Illegal gambling activities like Sada King have been associated with various social issues. It can contribute to increased debt, financial instability, and even bankruptcy for individuals and families. Moreover, the lure of easy money can lead some participants to resort to illegal activities themselves, such as theft, fraud, or loan sharks, to finance their gambling habits. Exploitation and Manipulation The nature of illegal gambling often involves exploitation and manipulation. Bookies and operators may take advantage of vulnerable individuals, encouraging them to place larger bets or become trapped in a cycle of addiction. The lack of legal recourse exacerbates the vulnerability of participants. Negative impact on society. The prevalence of illegal gambling can have a detrimental effect on society as a whole. It can contribute to an underground economy, breed criminal activities, and drain resources that could otherwise be invested in beneficial sectors. Additionally, it can create divisions within communities, leading to conflicts and strained relationships. Adverse Personal Consequences Engaging in illegal gambling activities can lead to severe personal consequences, including legal trouble, damaged reputations, strained relationships, and compromised mental and emotional well-being. These negative outcomes can fuel a strong aversion and disdain towards such activities. It's important to note that these reasons highlight the concerns and negative aspects associated with Sada King and illegal gambling in general. Society as a whole often opposes illegal gambling due to its potential for harm and its contravention of legal and ethical norms. Governments take various measures to address the issue of illegal gambling, including Sada King. The specific actions taken by governments can vary depending on the jurisdiction and the legal framework in place. Here are some common approaches. Enactment and Enforcement of Laws Governments establish laws and regulations to prohibit and deter illegal gambling activities, including Sada King. 
These laws may include specific provisions that target gambling operations, betting activities, or financial transactions related to illegal gambling. Law enforcement agencies are responsible for investigating and prosecuting individuals and organizations involved in illegal gambling. Raids and shutdowns. Government authorities, in collaboration with law enforcement agencies, conduct raids on gambling dens, bookmaking operations, and other venues associated with Sada King. These raids aim to dismantle illegal gambling networks, seize assets, and apprehend those involved in the illicit activities. The goal is to disrupt the operations and discourage participation in illegal gambling. Internet monitoring and blocking. In the digital age, governments also focus on monitoring and blocking access to websites or online platforms that facilitate illegal gambling, including Sada King. Internet service providers may be required to block access to such websites, and law enforcement agencies monitor online activities to identify and take action against individuals involved in illegal gambling. Public Awareness Campaigns Governments often launch public awareness campaigns to educate the public about the risks and consequences of illegal gambling. These campaigns aim to raise awareness about the negative impact of illegal gambling on individuals, families, and society as a whole. They may also provide information on legal gambling alternatives and resources for individuals struggling with gambling addiction. Collaboration with international authorities. Since illegal gambling can have transnational links, Governments cooperate with international law enforcement agencies and organizations to combat cross-border illegal gambling networks. This cooperation involves sharing information, coordinating investigations, and conducting joint operations to disrupt and dismantle these networks. It's worth noting that the effectiveness of government actions against illegal gambling, including Sada King, can vary. Illegal gambling operations often adapt and find ways to circumvent the law. Therefore, ongoing efforts are required to address the issue comprehensively and minimize its impact on individuals and society. Eradicating illegal gambling activities like Sada King is a complex task that requires a multifaceted approach involving various stakeholders. Here are some strategies that can be employed. Strengthening legal frameworks. Governments can review and update existing laws related to gambling to ensure they are comprehensive, enforceable, and capable of addressing emerging challenges. This includes defining clear definitions of illegal gambling, establishing strict penalties for offenders, and providing authorities with necessary powers for investigation and prosecution. Enhanced law enforcement. Governments should allocate sufficient resources to law enforcement agencies to effectively combat illegal gambling. This includes training personnel to identify and investigate illegal gambling operations, coordinating efforts with other relevant agencies, and conducting regular crackdowns on gambling dens, bookmakers, and online platforms involved in illegal activities. Public awareness and education. Launching public awareness campaigns is crucial in educating the public about the risks and consequences of illegal gambling. These campaigns should emphasize the negative impact on individuals, families, and society as well as provide information on legal and regulated alternatives for entertainment and gambling. Financial and technological interventions. Governments can work with financial institutions to monitor and restrict financial transactions related to illegal gambling. This includes tracking suspicious transactions, freezing assets of illegal operators, and enforcing stricter regulations on payment processors. 
Additionally, deploying advanced technologies for internet monitoring and blocking can help restrict access to illegal gambling websites. Collaboration and International Cooperation Illegal gambling networks often operate across borders, necessitating international collaboration among governments and law enforcement agencies. Sharing information, intelligence, and best practices can facilitate more effective investigations and joint operations to disrupt and dismantle these networks. Support for treatment and rehabilitation. Recognizing that gambling addiction is a significant issue, governments should provide adequate support and resources for individuals struggling with gambling problems. This includes establishing helplines, counseling services, and treatment centers for those affected by gambling addiction. Economic Development and Alternative Opportunities Creating more economic opportunities, especially in regions where illegal gambling is prevalent, can help reduce the lure of quick money through illegal means. Governments can focus on promoting legitimate industries, providing skill development programs, and improving access to education and employment opportunities. It's important to note that eradicating illegal gambling completely may be challenging, but through concerted efforts, stricter enforcement, and a comprehensive approach, governments can significantly reduce its prevalence and mitigate its negative impact on individuals and society.